This is your local news brief for Friday, April 3rd, 2020. Pasadena Now reports 49 confirmed COVID-19 cases in the city. 11 of those cases are hospitalized. Currently, there are no COVID-19 related deaths in the city. During a special council meeting on Monday, March 30th, Pasadena Public Health Department Director Dr. Ying Ying Go gave a 10 to 11% positive testing rate in the city, on par with the rest of Los Angeles County. Go also outlined four major points that communities needed to meet in order to combat the pandemic, securing more protective personal equipment, sustained community mitigation, like staying at home, unless you're an essential worker or running essential errands like grocery shopping, expanding healthcare worker resources, and increased testing. During a special council meeting on Monday, March 30th, City Manager Steve Mermel emphasized the hit Pasadena's economy is taking during the pandemic. He mentioned the decrease in sales tax revenue, as well as the decrease in ancillary revenue that comes from things like parking citations. On March 18th, the city released a statement modifying parking policies that suspended many of the city's parking offenses during the pandemic. Murmel also broke down President Trump's stimulus package. He explained that direct funding to states goes to local governments with populations of at least half a million people. Murmel said during the meeting, the city of Pasadena and most cities will not qualify for this. According to the city of Pasadena's website, as of July 2016, Pasadena's estimated population is just over 142,000. Governor Gavin Newsom announced that public schools will not reopen for the remainder of the academic year due to COVID-19. California Superintendent of Public Instruction, Tony Thurmond, released a statement saying, This is in no way to suggest that school is over for the year, but rather we should put all efforts into strengthening our delivery of education through distance learning. The Pasadena Unified School District, or PUSD, has been providing meals through its grab-and-go program for families during school closures. Meal distribution was suspended on Monday, March 30th, after the PUSD received word of a kitchen employee possibly infected with COVID-19. The employee was tested and is awaiting results. The meal program resumed the following Tuesday using an outside vendor. PUSD Superintendent Brian McDonald released a statement saying, Following the guidance of the Pasadena Public Health Department, deep cleaning and sanitizing of kitchens and facilities will be conducted and the employees' co-workers were advised of possible exposure. We plan to resume regular meal service by PUSD staff on April 14th. The grab-and-go meal program has been modified to operate weekdays from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the following schools. Elliott Arts Magnet Academy, Field Elementary, John Muir Early College Magnet High School, Madison Elementary, McKinley K-8 School, Norma Coombs Elementary, and Wilson Middle School. 